Sa pagsisimula, aalamin muna natin ang definition ng operations on functions. Functions with overlapping domains can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. Ibig sabihin nito ay ang mga functions na may overlapping domains ay pwede natin i-combine. Pwede natin i-add, pwede natin i-subtract, multiply, or divide. Tatandaan lang natin na ang result after we combine these two functions is also a function. At ang domain ng bagong function na ito ay taglay niya ang mga restrictions na mga functions na bumubuo sa kanya. If f of x and g of x are two functions, then for all x in the domain of both functions, the sum, difference, product, and quotient are defined as follows. f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And f divided by g of x is f of x over g of x. Take note that g of x here cannot be 0 kasi pag 0 ang g of x ay magiging undefined siya. Meaning, the result is not found in the set of real numbers. Given, f of x is equal to x plus 1. g of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1. h of x is equal to x cubed plus 1 all over x plus 1. Fine. Letter A. f plus g of x. Letter B f minus g of x Unahin natin ang f plus g of x So by definition f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x So pagkatapos ang gagawin natin ay kopyahin lang natin yung f of x which is x plus 1 plus yung g of x which is x squared minus x plus 1. Uh, since ang operation ay addition, pwedeng i-combine natin diretso ang dalawang function without changing the sign of each term. So ang gagawin natin, uh, yung x plus 1 ay kopyahin lang natin x plus 1 tapos yung x square minus x plus 1 ay x square minus x plus 1 lang din sapagkat ang operation ay addition at hindi magbabago ang sign ng bawat term pagkatapos ay isulat natin ito in standard form Ibig sabihin, from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. Unahin muna nating isulat ang x square, pagkatapos ang plus x, minus x, plus 1, plus 1. So pagkatapos nito ay i-combine natin ang mga similar terms. Pero bago yan, bring down muna natin ang x square and then plus x minus x is 0 and then plus 1 plus 1. So simplifying further, 
Uh, meron tayong x squared plus 0 plus 1 plus 1. So, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is positive 2. So, therefore, ang ating sagot ay x squared plus 2. Dadako na tayo sa pangalawa. F minus G of X. So, by definition, F minus G of X is F of X minus G of X. So, pagkatapos, kopyahin lang natin ang F of X. Ang F of X is X plus 1 minus Ang g of x naman ay x square minus x plus 1. So since ang operation is subtraction, the rule here is get the additive inverse of the subtrend and proceed to addition. Ang ibig sabihin ng additive inverse of the subtrend ay uh, yung subtrend natin na x square minus x plus 1 ay kunin lang natin ang opposite of their sign. Ibig sabihin, yung positive x square ay magiging negative x square. Ang negative x ay magiging positive x. Ang positive 1 ay magiging negative 1. Pagkatapos nito ay we're going to proceed to addition. Now, since the operation is addition, i-combine lang natin diretsyo ang dalawang expression or function without changing the sign of each term. So, ang una lang natin gagawin ay isulat natin in standard form, meaning from the highest exponent to the lowest. So, unahin natin ang negative x square pagkatapos plus x then plus x plus 1 minus 1 and then combine similar terms. So, just bring down minus x square and then positive x plus x is positive 2x and then plus 1 minus 1 is 0 so meron na tayong minus x square plus 2x plus 0 simplifying further ay meron na tayong minus x square plus 2x 